My name is Jeff Huber, I'm the manager here at the Life Cycle Bike Shop. Cycling is my lifestyle and I do race. Most of the people that I deal with have a lifestyle that's somewhat similar to mine. And I think that's part of the culture of a bike shop in general is that it's like-minded people. Not everyone that comes into the shop is a bike racer, but most of the innovation you see in bikes comes from bike racing. A typical day, you service bikes that come in, you sell bikes because you're a retail establishment. You have retail parts that go with that and accessories, clothing, shoes, etc. The uh, repair side is very involved because the amount of technology that's in the industry now is amazing like compared to 10 years ago. The biggest thing is diagnosing the problem with whatever is wrong with the bike and then sourcing the repair part if needed and then combining the labor involved for the service and the repair part to the customer. When I first learned the trade, I was really excited about how to do it and doing it fast and quickly and diagnosing it. Now I think it's more sharing knowledge with people, both in mechanical and in, say, training or bike racing or pedal technique or tire pressure or whatever it might be. And they come back and say, yeah, you know, that really worked. So I think that's what I enjoy most about my job. When it gets to the peak part of the season, there's a fair amount of stress because the enjoyment that we get out of helping people attracts other people to the store and the natural stress of running a business I think is probably my least favorite part. You can fix something on a bike with a, in a lot of different ways but in all reality if there's if you're to go by standards there's one way to do it right. If you have a defective part you know from the manufacturers how to deal with that situation. You look at a modern bicycle and you have you know basically small alloy hardware and if you don't tighten it down and you match it with carbon fiber and speeds of 50 miles an hour, you know, it can be catastrophic. I went into the bicycle industry by going through United Bicycle Institute. And they cover every aspect of bicycle repair up through frame building. So you can you could basically start in their one of their programs and know how to come out at the end how to actually physically build a bike, i.e. taking raw materials and welding a frame and assembling the bicycle yourself. But it's pretty cool to be able to go through a course like that and you go into a, a shop without any real-time experience and hand that certificate or those certificates to an employer and they'd be like, okay, well, you went through these courses, then you know how to work on a bicycle. You can definitely create a, a job for yourself if you have just that much you know, dedication to it. 